Welcome. Welcome to, to Manchester Film Festival. Welcome to Manchester Film Festival. What film have you I'm made? I'm just copying. Oh, I'm not copying you. No, uh, this is, tell me what film you've made. This is a photo from the film Piece of Cake. Piece of Cake. And uh, for people who haven't seen it, without spoilers, or you can give them spoilers, I mean, it's your film, it's up to you. Can you just tell us a bit about your film? It's, it's a love story. It's like a Romeo and Juliet meets Bake Off. <laughs> <Isn't> it? <laughs> it's a brilliant description of it. Meets the Godfather as well. And yeah, there is elements of, yeah, like gangster families in the, in Lancashire. Beryl? Beryl Cook, yeah. Beryl, she's terrifying. She's but one in to a watch really out brilliant for. Way. So yeah, no, that's it. In a nutshell, it's about a secret family recipe uh, for a fantastic cake that's been passed through the generations that ends up uh, paranoia emerges in the family and they're worried about the pie recipe. Not the pie, sorry, that's cut that bell. Uh, the cake recipe being leaked. Yeah, um, I'd say leak again. Yeah. I know, yeah. I mean, leaks. Yeah. No one will get. No one will get that. No one will he, get it. Don't he, explain it. He had an. Um, no, don't explain it. He didn't have a leak omelet this morning, or did he? Do you want to say something? Yeah, and no, I had a leak omelet this morning with red peppers, and it was really delicious. Tell them about the fancy salt that you had as well. Yeah, it was made with um, Fuerteventura and salt um, from a traditional salt farm that um, I got when I was on holiday there. He's got his own salt. He smuggled yeah. his own salt back. If you're interested in buying some of this salt um, you can be found online at um, what's the website it's just furtiveinterandsalt.com I think maybe you should make a film about the salt trade now could That's that be the in the pipeline one. can we uh, we're actually thinking of making a film about the uh, the, the future venture and salt line yeah I think you need funding we've just come it. up with that <laughs> That, that'll be your next do you, one next do you year. Fund, do you fund projects? Me personally, no, I've got no money. But, um, yeah, no. We'll find you someone. We'll make it happen. That's, I'm going to dead horse, yeah. That, that's all, yeah, that's <laughs> all the networking's for later on. Um, had you all worked together before? Yeah, so me and Jack have done quite a few projects together. This is the third uh, instalment of a pastry series. So we previously made a couple of shorts called Jammy Fingers and then Butter Fingers. Um, both were, like you know, more like two, three minute shorts. So this one, it's like a bit more involved, a bit more fleshed out, did more character building, more world building. Um, and yeah, we also have shot a pilot for a comedy TV series called The Baths. Um, I saw that on Twitter. I've not stalked you or anything, but yeah. And yeah, we're maybe gonna do another one called Pie, which uh, is again, food based. Oh, I was gonna say, yeah. Um, yeah, pie is... I'm trying to get away from making things about food and that, but if it's savoury, maybe it's a new chapter, isn't it? It's like, every, we've done all the sweet stuff. Um, you're doing your three course in, in reverse, then? Yeah, I guess so. Depends where you're from, doesn't it? I know people like to do it backwards and that. Crazy. Don't yeah. trust them. Um, no. And as you worked with Steve and Jennifer before? Also, don't trust red flag people who don't have baths or like baths or drink hot drinks. Yes. Big red flags. Yeah, definitely. Don't know how you feel about that. Mm, I think they deserve a second chance, those people. He's That's covering some up. He He's is. connected. Yeah. How do you feel about when you're making a cup of tea, putting the milk in first? Just, just slap it out of the hand straight first away. Before tea you, bag. Yeah. First thing, milk, then tea bag, then hot water. How do you stand on that? I think it, it should be... Is it not a crime? Is that not a... It might be a illegal. mark of psychopath. I won't go for a brew with that person, put it that way. Well, yeah, I won't let them make me one. Yeah, fair enough. Um, had you worked with Steve and Jennifer before? I'm pointing um, at them like they're there. No, they're, they're so, sort of representation yeah. of them, bless so, them. So, yeah, they, they're doing a great job at sitting still over here. Um, yeah, no, I worked with... So, the film that we'd done prior to this one, uh, Jen was in that, and they're, they're a couple in real life as well. If you I don't, realised if, that today when she touched yeah. his beard and I thought, oh, is that oh. a bit? And then yeah, I thought, oh, no, it no, blossomed, no. yeah. Yeah, they ended up getting together after the film. She just fell into the love beard. Um, no, there were, there were a couple and then, yeah, I worked with Steve on Brassic. I was on, worked on Brassic the other year, but not as in a creative manner, really. Just, I was uh, in the locations department on that. And I'd seen Steve's work for years and been a fan of his. And then 
through being connected with Jen and obviously her connection with Steve, I was like, oh, maybe we should do something together. Because I think he liked, you know what it was? He actually said that he really liked the way that the film we did with Jen was lit and shot. So I was like, oh, well, let's do something with the same recipe. Mm. The lighting is beautiful in that room at the end. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Very nice, yeah, well done. High five you. Thank you very much, yeah, we tried our best. Um, it was done with no money. So we just did, you know, got creative with what we had. And um, I think like the locations, just incredible, like that place mm. and uh, the house location. It's just some really oh, eccentric guy. It's his own house. house. It's a guy's house. Um, and everything in it was his own, you know, the, the, col the colour, the parrot. The parrot, the parrot was there, yeah. Yeah, the parrot was there. And uh, it just like, it just it was made it really easy to make this world, you know. Yeah. Amazing. The cast is brilliant. I mean, they're just fantastic, aren't they? All of them. But you've got to say that. Find, find the mic. You're fading away, aren't you? I've oh, uh, all it is, I've not eaten. Uh, I had a little croissant earlier and I'm bloody, I'm proper starving. Um, you should, next time, Manchester Film Festival, canopy, canopies, canopies or canopy, I don't know. You I say. don't know. Nobody knows. Food. If we do know, the world, the world will implode. Free food. Um, so I don't know whether you know, but it is our 10th birthday. You look older than 10. How rude. Oh no, that would be weird if I didn't, wouldn't it? Yeah, all right, uh, okay, fine. No, but uh, uh, yeah, no, great. Happy birthday, thanks very Manchester much. Film Festival. So Have I've you, been yeah. asking everybody what has been their favourite present they've ever received. Favourite present? Yeah. Uh, Buckle in, I'm ready for this. But uh, I feel like it's a great opportunity for a joke, but um, <laughs> I got a really good present for Keep my birthday. Clean. Yeah. No, I got um, my, uh, my wife, my wife, she got me a... Uh, Medium format camera for my birthday, oh, which nice. was interesting because I watched that film 120 that was on there a minute ago, and I was like, "Oh, that's how you load them." Because I had a bit of a, I experimented with trying to load it the other week, and uh, yeah. See, it's, we it's like to educate jammed. here as well. It's all about well, giving yeah. Back. It's been a learning experience or a learning curve. So, come on, any more questions? No, that was it. That was my last one. Have I just wanted to know everything? what his, his favourite one was. George wants to say, and something. then I was going to let you go. No. Yeah, my favourite present. Some I, I got um, a budgie once as a birthday present. Did you actually? What did you call it? It was called Peanut. Peanut. It was the best, the best budgie. Is, is Peanut no longer with us? It's dead, yeah. RSVP yeah. Peanut. It's died. Sad, sad times. RSVP? Yeah. <laughs> RSVP. We'll be there later. Um, no worries if you don't want to put this on the internet. Yeah. No, I uh, do. This um, has been my favourite. Can we one say yet. he learned? He, he he studied all of Peter Kay's like chat show um, I did appearances. It. If I did, I'd be where he cra climbing yeah. up wall over there. So um, yeah. Is there anything else you want to say to the masses? Do you want to shout yeah. out to anybody? Well, ask me something and I'll say it. I've asked you everything. No, go and ask me something meaningful. I have. Oh, I have. I go don't on. do meaningful Come on. love. Have right. you not seen my work? If you're watching yet? this today, <laughs> and you're wondering about um, how can I make a film? Come up with an idea, find a bunch of talented people, or if you can't find the talented people, just get the idea and go out there and start practicing. Don't wait around for the opportunities to come to you. Make them happen yourself. It's beautiful. Stay tuned. Manchester Film Festival, 2024. You've been, you've, you've had a... We've been legendary. Yeah, you've been legendary. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. That, Thanks that. for having us.